now we will factor general trinomial. If the trinomial is not perfect square, it is possible that you can still factor it using this pattern, factoring general trinomial. Let us have our first example. We have x squared plus 7x plus 10. First, you need to factor the last term. You list all the factors of the last term. So 10, what are the factors of 10? We have 5 and 2, 10 and 1. And then, you need to remember if your last term is positive, you need to add this factor to get the middle term. I repeat, you need to add these factors to get the middle term. If we add the first pair of factors, it will become 7 and then this is 11. So you look at the middle term, your middle term is 7x. So which pair will you gonna use? It will be the first pair. Next, also remember, if the third term is positive, your answers have the same sign. If they have the same sign, you will copy the sign of the middle term. So the sign of the middle term is plus. So your answers are both plus because the third term is positive. Next, the factors of x squared are x times x. So you need to write them here. And then you write the factors of 10 that will give you 7 if you add them those are 5 and 2 5 and 2 so this is the answer for this example next let us have x squared plus 2x minus 15 first list all the factors of 15 we have 5 times 3 15 times 1 Remember, if your third term is negative, you will subtract the factors. So we have 5 minus 3, that is 2, and then 15 minus 1, that is 14. So which pair of factor will give you the middle term? So we will use 5 and 3. Then factor the first term, x times x. So we will use two parentheses. You write the factors of the first term in different parentheses. And then the factors of 15 that if you subtract them will give you 2 because 2 is the middle term. So we have 5 and 3. So in here, if your third term is negative, your answer have different sign. Your answer have different sign. So we will use plus and minus. Remember, the highest factor will get the sign of the middle term. The highest factor will get the sign of the middle term. So our highest factor is 5. So 5 is positive and then 3 is negative. So, this is the answer for this example. I have another example. We have x squared minus 5x minus 24. So, list down all the factors of 24. We have 6 times 4, 12 times 2, 8 times 3, 24 times 1. So, since the sign of our last term is negative, we will subtract the factors. So this is 2. Which pair will give you the middle term? So the, the pair that will give you the middle term is this one. So we will factor the first term, x times x. And then we will write our answer inside the two parentheses. Factors of the first term, factors of the last term. 
The third term is negative, meaning our answer should have different sign or opposite sign. And then the sign of the middle term will be followed by the higher factor, which is higher, 8 or 3. So the higher number is 8. So 8 will follow the sign of the middle term. And then 3 is positive. So this is the answer for this example. Let's have our last example. We have x squared plus 6x plus 14. So first, you need to write all the factors of 14. So we have 7 times 2, 14 times 1. And then since the third term or the last term is positive, meaning we will add the factor 7 plus 2 is 9, 14 plus 1 is 15. So as you can see, none of the factors, none of the pair of factors can give you 6 as the middle term. So meaning this trinomial is already prime. It is not possible to factor this trinomial. So this trinomial is already prime.